Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be installing some OEM style uh, switches for the Forerunner. Basically this is going to be for ditch lights and also I got some for the light bar right there. So both of these came with their own switches, however I wanted it to be OEM style. And they're actually going to go right here. So I may move this one up to there or that one up to there. These are super easy to move. So now I got both of these OEM style switches from uh, CaliRays.com. So I ordered the ditch light brackets from them and I noticed that they had these on their website as well. So there's multiple websites you can go to. Uh, you can go to aironboard.com or you could just get it from CaliRays website. But the biggest thing is make sure that it's for your 5th gen 4Runner. Uh, if you have a 4th gen 4Runner, these are a little taller. But uh, just make sure your year specific it's for your 4Runner, FJ, whatever. So depending on whatever you have installed in your vehicle that you're going to be putting the lights on for, uh, the red or whatever positive will always go to positive for your battery. I've just been grounding everything into this factory ground right here. Uh, the fuse box ground uh, goes into it. So I just take a 10 millimeter right there, take it all off, and then I've been putting all my grounds under that. So the first thing you got to do is take this little grommet off. Now this grommet, it used to go right there. So this is like your factory harness. I have a uh, the amber lights light going through that because I didn't want to take up space over here. But if you see your factory harness down here from the firewall and then up towards the right over here, you'll see this little grommet. So pop that grommet out and then you basically just send your wires down as far as you can. Just keep sending them down. And then they're gonna be inside your cab and I'll show you where they're gonna start to come from. So here's your parking brake right here. If you just follow it up, right up here, this is where one of my wires came down from. So the other one kind of got caught up in there, but you just have to reach up there to feel for the loose wire. So basically looking back at it, you have your parking brake right here. Brake pedal is just right here. So right in the middle of it, go up, and then you see that uh, screw right there, basically on your firewall. It's up under that in that area right there. All right, so we're just gaining access to this area. So depending on how much you want to take off of this, you may have to undo your steering wheel. There's two screws up there. Turn the steering wheel, all this pops off. But when we were doing my friend's vehicle, I was able to get into everything that I needed right here without really having to undo that. So we undid that, actually we undid it, but we didn't have to. So don't be scared, uh, go lightly with it. But all you have to do is just come in here, kind of put your fingers back behind this and just pop. That's it, I mean, all these vehicles, they're just put together on an assembly line, so everything just pops into place, so like that. Now don't bend too much right here because you don't want this to potentially crack. It is very thick plastic, but uh, it will potentially bend. So just pop it out right here, get your fingers underneath, pull it out more, and then you have all the uh, room that you need right here. As you can see, you have full access to everything. Now, depending on where you want it, you have your blank ones right here basically all you have to do is just pinch them out so you just have those little pinch holes on both sides and you just pinch it out and push it out so there's a blank one so now with the stock ones because i don't want my two ones that i'm going to put in there right now to be on opposite sides of each other so with the stock ones if you want you could pinch them pull them out and uh, put them somewhere else but all you'll have to do is just take the harness out of the back of it first pinch the housing out, basically this, put the housing back into wherever you want it, and then just put the uh, connector back into it like you would a light bulb or something like that. All right, so in hindsight, uh, I put the inverter one up there for now. If you look, I don't know why Toyota did this, but you could see different notches for different things. So I was trying to move the inverter over, but the inverter one has that notch right there, and this one doesn't. Now your replacement ones, are just flat and they just tab in up here so you don't need to worry about wherever you put your replacement ones but that was kind of annoying so now I have the inverter up there I'm gonna put a blank panel right here and then have my other two right here so I'll go ahead and put a wiring diagram for the calorie raise ones up right here basically for the calorie raise ones the yellow is gonna go into green your light bar may be completely different I'm going to go yellow into green, red into red, and black into black. 
And eventually, if I wanna tap this one off to have it run with my dashboard lights, I will. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both uh, lights and then I'll go ahead and just install them. The easiest way to do it is these two disconnect. So just take this out, do all your stuff up, run your harness back uh, into the vehicle, and then, uh, then just plug it into the module. All right, so I have it all wired up. Uh, yellow was to green, red was to red, uh, the second red from the green again, like I said, from the wiring diagram from earlier, and then a black to black. And make sure you test it all before you heat shrink, or if you even want to heat shrink, I tested it and everything works. So now basically all you're gonna do is take the uh, green portion, uh, stick it back behind this, of your uh, vehicle, tuck up your wire and everything that you need to, and then just have it hanging basically right there. Uh, then that way you could put the switch through. All right, so I have them out. It's all tight up. This one is for my. This one's for my light bar. So make sure it ties in. Go ahead and send the wire back that you don't need. Boom, plugs right in. Super sick. Ditch lights. Boom. And it just goes right into the housing. Make sure they're nice and snug in there. And then you just take this, put it back into place. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, turn them on. The light bar on. And we got the ditch lights on. All right, and here they are uh, both on. Definitely need to clean this up a little bit, but uh, it's kind of hard when that wiring's a little shorter than it should be. Yeah, and then both switches, uh, they illuminate. So. If you like this uh, video, guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more Toyota stuff. I hope it was helpful for you. Very easy to go through the firewall. You just have to have patience to find it. Uh, and very easy to just pop that plastic panel off. Uh, if it wasn't for recording around it, you know, our job maybe to wire up your stuff, uh, depending on how good you are with splicing and everything. But like I said, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Toyota stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.